everybody <laughs> and welcome back to another video if this is your first time watching I am Bria Van Kooten and welcome if you're back welcome back and today I am going to be doing my main favorite, favorite video as well as if you stay tuned I will be doing a lookbook video I got a request like two months ago to do a lookbook video on how to style leather leggings and I'm so sorry that I took so long to do it but it's finally done I did a lookbook video on how to style leather leggings from a YouTube page by the name of style first and she requested a lookbook video on how to style leather leggings so I did that video so after you watch my May favorites make sure you sit around and the lookbook video will be after this as well as included in that lookbook video I got another request from a YouTuber by the name of Jack Summer and he requested that I show you all, well him specifically, how to style the button down shirts around my waist because if you checked out my lookbook video on how to style anorax, I had an outfit where I had the shirt around my waist and he said it was really dope and he wants to know how to do it. So I did those two requests. Sorry I took so long but it is here. So let's get into my May favorites and then you guys can watch my lookbook videos after that. My first May favorite I want to talk about is Lala Anthony's new book, The Power Play Book. I, talk, I talked about this book a little bit in my April favorites and I said this would be one of the things I'm going to talk about in my May favorites. I am only up to chapter 3 I believe. Yeah, I'm only up to chapter 3 out of... 18 chapters I know I'm slacking <laughs> on it and I'm I should be almost done with the book but I have been slacking but I will finish reading it but I just basically in the book she is talking about being successful and having your own career and her journey from like radio to TRL and how school wasn't really for her and her now breaking into like the movie scene and acting and stuff like that it's a really good read like I said I read the love playbook which was her first book and that was really good so I knew this one was gonna be really amazing as well and yeah once I finish reading it this will probably be my June favorites <laughs> hopefully by I, by the time I do my June favorites video I'm done reading it but yeah I really like the book I'll just talk about one thing that really stuck out to me was these five rules that she had that she believed that you should carry in life and business and the first rule was put yourself first the second rule is find your passion and your purpose the third rule was do the work the fourth rule is know your worth and the fifth rule is be gracious and be grateful and those five rules just really stuck out to me because even before I read this book, these are some of the things that I lived by in my personal life. So it was just like interesting to see like, okay, Lala is basically living by the same rules that I basically try to live by and to be successful and do what I got to do to reach the goals that I want to accomplish. So I just, like I said, I love the book. If you ha don't have it yet, I really recommend you to get it. If you did not read the love playbook definitely read the love playbook and also get the power playbook it's really good shout out to lala and yeah that's my first may favorite the second may favorite that i want to talk about is oversized shirts and like i mentioned in the beginning of my video someone requested me to do a lookbook on how to style the shirt around my waist and that is what i have been doing i either style it around my waist or I put it over like an outfit, like if I wear a short sleeve shirt and it's kind of like a little windy, I'll throw like the oversized shirt over me and I just love it. It's like a really cute and chic look. It puts an outfit together if you like have like a chill day outfit on and your outfit kind of looks a little boring and you just want to throw something around your waist or throw something over you. It just makes your outfit stand out a little bit more. I would prefer you get like a plaid oversized shirt that would definitely make your outfit stand out or like a denim oversized shirt. I see a lot of people doing that so denim is definitely the way to go and I just I love wearing like oversized shirts especially if I'm have, I have on like something like tight and short underneath and then I want to throw something over it. I, it just looks really really 
cute so that's definitely my second may favorite you know because it was you know spring it was springtime in new york so it still was like a little windy the weather is now starting to get nicer it's getting into summer so yeah let's move on to my third and my third may favorite will have to go to this black radiance press powder that i have been using to contour i don't know if you guys can see like my contour let me stay straight you guys can see that yeah i love contouring like it's really nice like without makeup i have like my cheekbones are very already kind of Strong. Like I have really strong cheekbones. People tell me sometimes I look like Robin Givens because her, her cheekbones are like really strong, and I have those kind of similar cheekbones. So it's pretty easy for me to contour because I just have to like follow the outline of my cheekbones. But with contouring, I love that I can make it even stronger and like popping. Like I love it. I love it. Like I love when I take selfies and you see my cheekbones are like pulled in a sucked in giving you maleficent brumness because if you saw maleficent angelina jungle contour and cheekbones were on fleek <laughs> but <laughs> this black radiance press powder is like amazing i got it from a beauty supply store in queens by my school and i just love it i it's the color golden almond is number 8603 so if you guys want to try it out definitely hit up your local beauty supply store i'm pretty sure it's in many beauty supply stores so definitely hit that up it's amazing for contouring that's what i use it for i don't really use it for anything else so i put on my foundation and after that i like put my lips out and then i use it for contouring and it just it works really amazing that's why i have to make it one of my favorites i am obsessed with contouring my cheekbones and like underneath so yeah and my fourth my favorites will definitely have to go to you know i always talk about uh, my favorite show or movie for that month i haven't been to the movies in a while i plan on going next week with my sis jade we're gonna go see age of adeline but my favorite show for the month of may will definitely have to go to tyler perry's if loving you is wrong that is my show the season finale was actually this past tuesday Oh my god, that show is so amazing. Like, let me tell you guys what it's about really, really quick. So basically, <laughs> it's a group of women. They live, well, three of them live on the same street. It's Kelly, Marcy, and I forgot the other girl's name. They three of them. They live on the same the same street. And then there's Esperanza, she lives somewhere else, and Natalie lives somewhere else from them. So it's five of them. It's five women. They're all friends, and four, three of them are married. Natalie is is with one of her children's fathers, and Esperanza is divorced from this cop. That's kind of crazy. But basically, the premise of the show, one of the women, I forgot her name. I can't remember her name right now. She cheated on her husband with. The next door neighbor <laughs> who happens to be her husband's friend they're like really close yeah that's just crazy so then she gets pregnant and then she finds out her husband tells her how could this happen because i had a vasectomy he had a vasectomy without telling her that he had one so obviously the whole season me and my mother since the show started this is season two since season one, me and my mother have been saying this baby is Randall's, who is the guy who she cheated with, the black guy. She cheated on her husband with this black guy who's his neighbor. And we've been saying it's Randall's baby because obviously your husband had a vasectomy. It's a, like a little, a 1% chance that you can get somebody pregnant if you had a vasectomy. So it was just like, no, this, no, 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 no. So basically in the season finale, just to skip over the whole two seasons, on the season finale she had the baby and the baby comes out she's been telling her husband no it's your baby it's your baby i've been using my calendar to see when i had sex with him and when i had sex with you and it's your baby so she basically lied and her baby was born and she told all her friends and everybody that the baby is going to be premature because she had it she told them seven months because she went into labor at seven months which, no, that's a lie. You went into labor at nine months. It's full term because it's not your husband's baby. It's Randall's baby. So she <laughs> delivers the baby. And then the nurse comes in 
her and Kelly are in the room, which is her and Kelly are like really close. And she's like, yeah, we have to talk to Brad. Brad is her husband. We have to see Brad before he goes in to see the baby. So me and my mom look at each other. I'm like, ma, this baby's about to be black. <laughs> the baby's about to look brown skin, like. So they, so they all, all the friends are together. They all run to like, you know where they keep the babies all together. And lo and behold, the baby is African American. The baby has brown skin. The baby, my skin complexion and the baby's skin complexion is the same color. So obviously, that is not your husband's baby because both of you guys are Caucasian and this baby is brown skin. Yes. So. That was the season finale. It ended just like that. And I was just like, oh my god. Like, that has to be definitely my favorite show for the month of May. It, and it has been going on for the past couple of months. But since the season finale just ended, I have to talk about that show. If you guys do not watch If Loving You Is Wrong, please check it out. Tyler Perry is such an amazing writer, producer, director, executive producer, everything. He does everything. And... During the season finale, they had the commercial to his other show, The Haves and the Have Nots, which is also one of my favorite shows. It starts back June 30th on OWN at 9, so definitely make sure you guys check it out. Like, how is that happening, like, for real, for real, but let's move on to my last May favorites, which obviously I'm going to talk about an app. And this month, you know, I will give you guys my secrets on my apps. And this month, my favorite app of the month will have to go to an app called Photo is P H H H O T O. I'm pretty sure if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen that I have been using this app all weekend. I went to Atlanta this past weekend and I have been using this app all weekend long. It's basically an app where you can go on it and you click, you have to create an account, you click it, you go on it, and then you click the button to take like the photo. And after you take it, you can move like the camera a little bit. And after you take the photo, the photo is moving like a moving picture so then it uploads on this photo app which is like Instagram but then you can save it to your phone and then put it on Instagram like it's a, such a fun cool app I first saw Beyonce using it and when I saw her using it I was like no I need this app in my life I didn't know what it was called so then I saw one of my friends Chris he posted a picture of it and I texted him like no what the what is this app <laughs> so he told me the name of the app and I was like yes because Beyonce has been using this app for so long and I finally figured what it was so yeah that's definitely my favorite app for the month of May so yeah that is my favorites for this month um, before I go I just want to say because you know it's the end of May so for June I'm gonna be doing something amazing because people have been saying oh Brie I want you to do more lookbook videos so what I am doing for the month of May I am doing an outfit a I said the month of May the month of June <laughs> is I'm doing an outfit a day in June. So every day in June, I will be doing an outfit video from I have it in my from June first to June from June first to June twenty sixth. I'll be doing an outfit a day video, and how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna do it every single day, and then Friday that Friday I'll post the video of the whole week. So Monday to Friday, and I'll combine it together, and I'll post a video every Friday. So you'll see a lookbook video June 5th, June 12th, June 19th, and June 26th. Four lookbook videos, an outfit a day in June. So I hope you guys are excited, and you guys can't wait to see it. I'll do a different theme every week. I don't know what the first theme is going to be yet. I'll also include a week where I do all male looks so i'll use my brothers <laughs> as models and that will be one of the weeks i'll do a female i do outfit of the night like i'm excited to start that hope you guys are excited for next friday for an outfit a day in june to start i wish i thought about this before so i could do an outfit a day in may so it could have rhymed but yeah may is over so we're gonna move on to june and what in one of those out the videos i'll do a june favorites video because i do want to keep up with the monthly favorites so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's is that all i have to say oh before i go another favorite of the week tamar my sister tamar came out with a new song this week and it's called if i don't have you of course i bought it on itunes because yeah i still buy music <laughs> but if you don't have it make sure you definitely go listen to it check it out buy it it's a really amazing song her vocals are freaking 
amazing. Yeah, but I love this song. I've been listening to it on repeat since Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. But yeah, that's pretty much my May favorites. Make sure you guys stick around and check out my lookbook video that is coming up right now. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace and love. Have a good weekend. And I'm Bria Van Kooten and I'm signing out. Florida tastes so good. And now we'll move on to our lookbook video, how to style leather leggings and how to style shirt around waist. So first we'll start off with a daytime look. It's a daytime chill walk around look. I got my boots from Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. The top is from an online boutique called Crave Boutique, but you can definitely get this top from any store. The leggings are from Forever 21. My gold bracelet is also from Forever 21, as well as my fedora and my sunglasses. And the watch is from Casio. This outfit is very chill, very relaxed, very fun and girly, and I love it. So our second look is a nighttime look. It's basically the same look as the daytime look, but you add on heels and you can remove the fedora. You can also tie the slit top up so they can show off the whole outfit and the leggings and the effect that it has on the whole outfit. My shoes are from Steve Madden and yeah again the leggings is from Forever 21. The top is from an online boutique called Crave Boutique and this outfit is just really cute. This outfit can go from day to night really quick. Then we move on to our next look which is another chill day running errands going shopping <laughs> kind of look. We start off with my top which is from Forever 21. It's a cute crop top with the Superman sign on it. The leggings again is from Forever 21 and my sneakers are Como de Garcon. My shades are also Forever 21. I love those shades. Then we add on our button down plaid button down which I got from Abercrombie and Fitch and you throw that over your waist and like I said in my May favorites video it's just it just adds on a pop to your look and it just takes it from drab to fab really quick and yeah that is our our, our next look <laughs> All links to all of these items will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And also, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. The last look for the How to Style Leather Leggings lookbook video brings out the inner skater girl in all of us. We start off with my fedora, which is from Forever 21, as well as my sunglasses. My jacket is from JCPenney, and my top is from Nordstrom. My leather leggings, again, is from Forever 21, and my shoes are from my BFF, Steve Madden. And this outfit is just so cute, so chill. I just love it. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook video, especially style first, because you did request it, so I hope you enjoy and before I go, I did say I got another request from a YouTuber by the name of Jack Summer. And he requested that I show how I tie my button-down shirt around my waist. And as you can see, I basically folded it over so the collar goes in, in the middle of the shirt. And I tied it front to back. back well, back to front. <laughs> I tied it so the back is really on the front and the front is on the back so that's basically how I did it so it could look oversized in the front and I hope that helped you out and my shirt is from Ralph Lauren and a big shout out to one of my closest friends Marvin 
who helped me record this lookbook video. Thank you so much. He doesn't have an Instagram, so you can't follow him on there. But you can add him on Facebook at Marvin Clark if you have Facebook. And thank you again for helping me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook video. Again, the links will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace and love. This has been a Vancouver production.